Um, yeah, so number 47, uh, to miss the boat. Um, yeah, so like if uh, you, you were running to try and get in the line um, for a free meal or someone was giving away free, free uh, TVs and you, you get there and it's all done. You missed the boats, man. I didn't get here in time or someone uh, or you're having a meeting and they were describing everything that's going on um, in the next for the next uh, quarter of the season. And you show up late and you miss the boat. Now you don't know what's going on for the next quarter. Uh, so you have no idea. So you have to get filled in. But um, yeah, I don't know if we have one that's in one of these. I don't even know if it's part of this, but we say uh, the ship has sailed. That's that's kind of similar, but I mean, not meaning wise, but the ship has sailed. Have you heard that one before? The ship has sailed. Like, mm -hmm. But um, that one's that one's a good one too. So I don't know if we got that one. Hopefully, hopefully that's in this. It's something that uh, something that's already been done. We don't need to discuss that anymore. This ship sailed. So yeah, no, go ahead, Saw. No, oh, great, uh huh. Yes, it's good to share what you know because yeah, a lot of people can can learn more and understand better. When people say it, yes? some idioms. Yes. So it's good to explain and even bring your knowledge. Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure what causes it to be an idiom, or I'm I'm not sure I, how it works, but it's just another meaning of. I'm assuming it's it means it's another meaning of something that you're explaining. Is what's an idiom. So, like the ship is sailed would be one, yeah. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. So there's probably a lot more than what you got up there, 150. There's probably way more, yeah. Yes, there are a lot, a lot. Yes. Way more than 150. You just probably picked the 150. Yeah. That's popular. everywhere. There are a lot more, I think. Yes, and they they keep coming up with more all the time. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's always new ones. Yes. People create new ones. Well, just they like new um, slang. These kids nowadays have these slang words, and it helps. Uh, they have more and more because now you have texting, and with the texting, they they put it much smaller. How would you? How do you say that? Um, or you just kind of meme it out there or will you uh like omg you know instead of saying oh my god they say omg and a <laughs> lot of that started back when we had to push the one button or the the two button to get the a b and c so you have to push it twice to get the b three times to get the c so instead of having to type out a whole word you would just push you know the o and the m and the g and so the abbreviations uh, started, I think, back then more than now, because it's easier. Yeah. We didn't have the whole um, keyboard on our phone at that time. We had 10 letters. Mm -hmm. Remember that? And then to get the smiley face, you had to do the, or the winky face, you had to do the dot, dot, or the dot in the apostrophe and the comma. Mm -hmm. and uh, and then the little quote, not quotation, but the, what was it called? the little circles, half circles. But that was your smiley face or your winky face. That's what started emojis too, remember? Yes, yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's interesting. Yes. Technologies and uh, uh, people are always bringing something new and to, to help uh in people's life also yeah i remember 
It was hard. It was hard to text. I hated texting because it was too hard. And people mm-hmm. would text me, and I'm like, stop texting me. Just call me. <laughs> I was like, I ain't dealing with this. It takes too long. Yes. Or I use audio, no? Recording audio. Oh, we didn't have that, though, then, either. Oh, uh-huh. Yes, yeah. yes. We only had, you only had text and call. And that's why I said, I think all children, kids under 18 should have to have a flip phone. So the only way to text is they have to text the old school way. And they have no internet on their phone. So there's no reason for them to have the touch of the world in the finger under <laughs> one finger. They don't need that. They're, they're, they're under 18. They don't need all that information. They got school. That's what school's for. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, to, to be able to have every knowledge in the world under the, under one finger, they don't need that. No, no, for sure not. It'd be illegal for a child under 18 to have a smartphone. <laughs> Go ahead, Sasha. Okay, you- yes. So, Ed, to miss the boat trip means uh, lose an opportunity. Yes, to do. Uh, something by being slow to act. Yes, you're too slow to take an action. The example, the application deadline was last week. I missed the boat. Next, Daddy. Nice. Yes, number 48, to be on fire. Because I'm on fire. Light them <laughs> up, 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 light them up, up, up. So, yeah, um, to be rocking it, to uh, be on top of your game, um, to, to make the shot and not miss a single shot in, your, in, your, in that game. You know, you're on fire. Uh, no one can stop you. Uh, yeah, to be just nailing everything. And you're on fire when you when uh it's perfect like I, there's times where um no matter what i do it it just i'm hitting the head the nail on the head and and then there's times like when i'm playing pool you know pool yes mm-hmm. uh, yes every shot and then there's times i can't but you would say i'm on fire tonight yeah so go ahead so yeah it's amazing uh uh-huh. Okay, so to be on fire, this is uh, to perform very well. Wow, your presentation was amazing. You were on fire. 